Today's caper is presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by Toyota. All these people want to know, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? And one of these people could find her. Mike Fair. Susanna Dishman. Nina Tandon. Today's episode, The Great Head Heist. And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. Hey guys, how are you? Yeah. Hi, how are you? Fine. Got a lot of work to do. It's time for us to get the chief up here. Chief, you there? I'm here, Greg. Let's go. All right, detectives. Carmen San Diego and her gang of reprehensible recidivists have struck again. This time, they pulled their crude caper on Easter Island. Located off the coast of Chile, the island is home to hundreds of enormous statues called Moai. Now, no one's sure how the stony sentries got there, but there's no doubt about the mystery of what happened to them today. Top Grunge streaked up to the statues, lassoed each one of them, and made about as good a clean getaway as he's capable of. The only thing he left behind was his stench. Now, here's the glop on Top Grunge, the world's smelliest menace. He's an expert mechanic, but a miserable failure at personal hygiene. All right, gumshoes, here's your mission. Sniff out top grunge, secure the statues, and then capture Carmen San Diego. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Okay, gumshoes, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme crime bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more crime bucks. And the two of you with the highest scores at the end of this round, then go on to the next round, okay? Chief, let's go. I've just gotten word from Acme Stinchnet about a cloud of dirt and filth passing over the Bering Sea. Now, it sounds like top grunge. He may take cover amongst the violent storms at Denali National Park, or he might bring the statues north to the oil fields. Now, it wouldn't surprise me. Oil is sticky, smelly, and polluting, just like top grunge. Greg. Okay, thanks a lot, Chief. Gumshoes to what state did top grunge take the statues? Was it Montana, Wyoming, or Alaska? Remember the clues that we heard? Bering Sea, Denali National Park, and oil fields in the north. You've heard the evidence. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. We are hot on the trail of Top Grunge. Susanna is ready. So is Mike. So is Nina. Mike, you go first. What do you say? I said Alaska. Alaska. What do you think, Susanna? I said Alaska. Alaska. What do you think, Nina? Alaska. Alaska. The answer we're looking for is Alaska. Nice job, guys. That's the way to start that one off. Okay, before we get too far into this, let's learn a little bit more about you, detective, shall we? Michael, uh, you're into sports, right? Yeah. What kind of sports do you play? I play baseball and hockey. Hockey. What kind of position do you play in hockey? Defense. Defense. And you think you might go pro sometime? Yeah, I play for Rangers. Oh, Rangers. Good. Uh, lucky, uh, good luck to you. Thanks for being on the show. Michael, everybody. <laughs> Susanna, you, uh, you run track. Yes, I run track for my school. Yeah, are you any good? Well, I won a gold medal for the 200 and a bronze medal for the 100. Oh, that sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, nice. Okay. And Nina, you do community theater. Yeah, I do. I'm on the Main Street Theater. What, what uh, plays have you done? The Wizard of Oz and Little Mary Sunshine. Oh, sounds nice. Good to have you on the case. There's Nina, everybody. Say hi. Okay, guys, listen, enjoy yourself, relax, have a great time. Let's get on with our next clue, which is we have this coming from our undercover operative in Canada. Listen. Well, <laughs> I fainted briefly because of the awe-inspiring odor, <laughs> so I don't have much to tell. <laughs> I spotted him chartering a boat on the Quebec shoreline. It might be tough to find him on the biggest inland body of water on the continent. I know where he was going, to the Belcher Island. <laughs> kind of figures, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, thanks, Moose. Gumshoe, how about a hand for the Moose, please? One of my favorite. <laughs> uh, name the body of water, if you will, please. Is it Hudson Bay, Baffin Bay, or Fox Basin? 
Remember the clues that we heard from the moose? Quebec shoreline, biggest inland body of water on the continent, and Belcher Islands. Mike, what do you say? Fox Basin. Fox Basin. What do you think, Susanna? I said Hudson Bay. Hudson Bay. Nina? Hudson Bay. Hudson Bay. The answer we're looking for is Hudson Bay. Nice job, ladies. Okay, so, Mike, you have 60, Susanna, you have 70, and Nina, you have 70. Very tight, King. Hey, something's going on out here. Come on, let's find out what it is. Hey, guys, what's up? Yard! Viking! Viking. Viking. Scandinavia! Scandinavia! Scandinavia. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. Name the uh, name the country, if you will, please. Is it the Netherlands, Norway, or Germany? Remember the clues that we heard? Fjord, Viking, and Scandinavia. Mike, what do you say? Norway. Norway. What do you think, Susanna? I said Norway. Norway. Nina? Germany. Germany. The answer we're looking for is Norway. Nice job, Mike and Susanna. So, that means, Mike, you have 70. Susanna, you have 80. Nina, you have 70. Tight game still going on here, guys. Okay, that means it's time now for the lightning round. We're going to give you a chance now to get some extra crime bucks. What it is, is that I have three questions here. Each one is worth five points. Five crime bucks, okay? So, hands on buzzers, please. Nina, ready? Susanna and Mike? Okay. Listen closely. Here we go. Holman Colon, Norway is said to be the home of this downhill winter sport. Is it skating, luge, or skiing? Susanna. Skiing. Skiing is right. Nice job. Number two. Though Norway tried to remain neutral during World War II, it was invaded in April 1940. Was this invading country France, Iceland, or Germany? Mike. Uh, Germany. Germany's right. Nice job, Mike. And number three. You just left Oslo, Norway on flight to Helsinki, Finland. If your plane maintains a direct west-east course, you'll fly over which of the following countries? Poland, Denmark, or Sweden? Nina. Sweden. Sweden's right. Nice job. Okay. Like everybody got one of those. So at the end of three in a lightning round, Mike, you have 75, Susanna, you have 80, and Nina, you have 75. That's the way to do this. Greg? Yeah. yeah, Chief. In my office right now. Chief, this isn't working. I, I, I know. I'll explain. In my office. Okay, I'll be right in. You guys hang tight here. I'll check with her. I'll be right back. <laughs> What's up, Chief? Oh, Greg. My head fell off, and I think it rolled under the desk. I'm sorry. One more time? Good. Get with the program. I said my head fell off. It rolled under the desk. Would you please get it for me? Well, Chief, how did this happen? Well, I was, uh, I was worried about the investigation, you know, and it just overheated and it, it popped off. Hey, you got a lot of neat stuff here. Check it out. Bison did the quarter. Oh, Greg, the head. All right. Ed. Oh, here it is right here. Okay. Got it. Oh, uh, good. Oh. All right. Let's just put it right on top there. Oh. And just kind of give a little twist. Oh. Oh. Ah. Better? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, now, Chief, good. how are we going to keep this from happening again? Oh, well, you can capture Carmen San Diego. I'll give a free trip anywhere in the lower 48 states to the gumshoe that does. Oh, Greg, go away. Yes, okay, sorry. Acts like he never saw a head pop off before. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, guys, still a lot of work to do. We're looking for top grunge and the Easter Island statues. Now, fortunately for us, Acme Bugnet has just given us a recording of a phone conversation between Carmen Sandiego and top grunge. Watch. It doesn't take a bloodhound to sniff you out, bud. You'd better head for the busiest port in the USSR. Pushkin and Gorky live there. Uh, uh, who, who are they, Carmen? Great writers, you ignoramus. It's also a Black Sea resort. Check out the mud baths. You'll love it. Uh, yeah, if I'm going to take a bath, uh, give me mud. <laughs> hey, guys, name the Soviet city. Is it Kiev, Pinsk, or Odessa? Remember the clues that we heard? Busiest port in the USSR, the Russian writers, Pushkin and Gorky live there, and Black Sea Resort. Mike, what do you say? Odessa. Odessa. What do you think, Susanna? I said Odessa. Odessa. Nina? Odessa. Odessa. The answer is Odessa. Nice job, guys. Okay, so Mike, you have 85, Susanna 95, and Nina 85. 85. Now, for this next clue, we go to Acme Rapnet. Take it away. Cool Modi.
Gum shoes, listen up, and if you want to go to a place where the people call the bond to a truly vast nation, you know that its area ranks third in Africa after Algeria. There's a river that runs through it that shares its name. Head to the Lubumbashi, you'll be glad you came. Your crook will be captured like water, captured by a sponge. This is Kumo D. Go catch top grunge. Yeah, let's hear it for the cool man. Come on. Yeah. All right, Gum shoes, name the African country. Is it Zaire, Angola? or Zambia. Remember the clues that we heard? The Bantu people ranks third in area and Lubumbashi. Okay, Mike's ready. Susanna is ready and Nina is ready. Mike, what do you say? I said Zaire. Zaire. What do you think, Susanna? I said Zaire. Zaire. Nina? Zaire. Zaire. The answer we're looking for is Zaire. No way to go, guys. Okay. So that means Mike has 95, Susanna 105, and Nina 95. For this next clue, let's do a little bit of research. We'll check the files. Come on. Mm -hmm. Oh, now this is interesting. Look at this. Looks like some sort of, uh, I don't know what it is. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow, look, it's a, uh, it's all written in Greek. I don't, but there is a translation on the back. It says, uh, head for the Aegean Sea. Top Grunge has gone to a Greek island where there used to be a big statue called the Colossus. No doubt he thinks that's a good place to hide the heads. Okay, gumshoes? Name the uh, Greek island. Is it Rhodes, Cyprus, or Corfu? Remember the clues that we heard? A G and C, big statue called the Colossus. Okay, Mike, what do you say? I said Corfu. Corfu, what do you think, Susanna? I said Rhodes. Rhodes, what do you think, Nina? Cyprus. Cyprus, the answer we're looking for is Rhodes. Nice job, Susanna. Okay, so that means Mike, you stay at 95. Susanna pulling ahead now with 115, and Nina has 95. Now, guys, it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to make a decision. Now you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 acne crime bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Top Grunge is headed. If you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, looks like everybody's made a decision. Now for the Friends. final... Yeah, Chief. I have a report here from Acme History Net about Top Grunge. Now it says, Top Grunge has traveled to the city that was capital of the Kingdom of Bohemia and also the Holy Roman Empire under Charlemagne. More recently, it rejected communist rule during the Velvet Revolution. Oh, what do you make of that, Greg? I'm not quite sure, Chief. Let's find out what the gumshoe said. Right. Okay, guys, name the location. Is it Budapest, Warsaw, or Prague? Remember the clues that we heard? Former capital of Bohemia and Holy Roman Empire rejected communist rule in Velvet Revolution. Okay, Mike, we're going to start with you. You have 90 crime bucks. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 30. 30. This will put you in the lead. If you're right, what'd you say? And I put Prague. Prague is right. Nice job, Mike. Put you in the lead with 125. Nina, you also have 95 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. Put you in second place. If you're right, what'd you say? said Warsaw. Warsaw. Tough break. Let me go down 20 then. But this isn't over yet. Don't worry about it. Susanna, you have 115. How much did you risk? I risked 10 crime bucks. 10. You'll, you'll, uh, you'll tie for, second, for first place. You and Michael go on to the next round if you're right. What'd you say? I said Prague. Prague. Nice job. So that means Mike and Susanna, you don't go on to the next round. Nina, listen, you were a great detective. You really were. Did some great stuff for us today. We've assembled a special kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief? It's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit, and it includes a World Traveler's Atlas, an official Carmen watch, a Carmen sweatshirt, and a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine. And our thanks for your good work on this case, Nina. I salute you. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, now it's time for you to go to Prague where you're going to track down Top Grunge and the statues. But I want you to know, we do not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? Here's the poop on Prague, known as Praha to the locals. That's the capital and largest city of Czechoslovakia. The Vltava River runs through the middle of town. It escaped major damage in both world wars, and the city's architecture is among Europe's best preserved. 
Now the boys down at Photo Recon have put together a few slides. Old Town Hall, actually a converted house added to over the years. The tower bears memorials from centuries of historic events in the heart of Prague's oldest area. The statue of Jan Hus, it's a gathering place for political rallies. Now Hus is a national hero, inspiring generations of Czechs with the proud motto, Truth Prevails. Head here for motivation. Search Teen Church. The twin spires are visible all over town. The burial place of Tycho Brahe, a 16th century Danish astronomer who helped disprove the belief that the Earth is the center of the universe. Astronomical clock dates to 1410. Now the story goes, the townspeople blinded the craftsman who designed the top part of the clock so he could never duplicate his work. Now his revenge was to damage and stop the clock. It remained broken for over a century. But Slavsky Avenue, good place to keep an eye on, divides old town from new town. And pro-democracy demonstrations were held here in 1989. Well, that's Prague gumshoes. Now, it's time to head out into the field. And always remember the Acme Triangle of Excellence. Vigilance, dedication, courage. Go get them, gumshoes! Okay, guys, come on. Here we are in Czechoslovakia. Set yourself down here and uh, take a walk right over there. Let me show you what we have here. Here are the locations where you might be able to find Top Grunge, the loot, and a uh, warrant for Top Grunge's arrest. Now, the first thing you have to do is find the loot. That's the evidence you need so that you can get a warrant. With a warrant, you can then arrest the crook. Now, connect all three of those, the loot, the warrant, and the crook, in that order, in a single turn, and you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. Catch Carmen San Diego, and you get that trip to anywhere in the lower 48 United States. Now, one more thing. You can pick any one of these locations that you want to, but if you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn, okay? Now, the two of you were tied at the end of the last round which meant we had to flip a coin. We did it. Susanna won. So, Susanna, you go first. The Strahov Monastery. The Monastery. Nothing there. Mike. The Charles Bridge. The Charles Bridge. The loot. Oh, nice job. You get the loot. Okay, you get a free turn. Go ahead. Okay, the um, small square. Small square. Nothing there. Nice job, though. You found the loot. Go ahead, Susanna. The Charles Bridge. Charles Bridge. The loot. Okay, go ahead, free turn. And Baklowski Avenue. Very good, Baklowski uh, Avenue. Nothing there. Mike, go ahead. Uh, Charles Bridge. Charles Bridge. And the gold the loot. Go ahead, Mike. And the gold maker's alley. And the gold maker's alley. Top grunge. Okay, you found the loot. There's top grunge. Remember, you have to do this in the right order, though, right? It's the loot, uh, the warrant, and then the crook. So use some strategy, Mike. Go ahead. Okay, um, the Belvedere the Palace. Belvedere Palace. Okay, nothing there. Round two of them, though. Go ahead, Susanna. I'll take Charles Bridge. Charles Bridge. The loot. The Pinkus Synagogue. Pinkus Synagogue. Nothing there. Go ahead, Mike. Okay, I'll take the Charles Bridge. Charles Bridge. The, the loot. Go ahead, Mike. The Vltava River. Uh, the river. The Vltava. And There's the warrant. You need one more. Go ahead, Mike. And the uh, Goldmaker's Alley. Goldmaker's Alley. Is he there? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! That was a close one. Come on over here, Mike. Come here, pal. Nice job, dude. Good job. Okay, now, you got top grunge. The only thing you have to do now is pull on this chain, put him in jail. Go ahead. Jump. <laughs> okay, look, Mike, congratulations. We're going to talk about your next adventure just a little bit. First off, Susanna, listen, you are a great detective. You track top grunge all the way to Czechoslovakia. We got some great stuff for you. Chief. Greg, we have a world band radio so that Susanna can listen to broadcasts from all over the world. Nice work, Susanna. Oh, okay, Mike. Look, uh, I have something you have to work on here. There's some paper in here and a pen. What I want you to do is open it up, write down where you'd like to go if you get that trip after catching Carmen San Diego. Go ahead. Well, just, just, you can do it right here. Here's your pen. Okay. Classy stuff we got here. Oh, he's still writing. Now, I'll tell you what, though. You got Top Grunge. You got the loot. The only thing you have to do now is catch Carmen San Diego. Hold on a second. Let me get that. Can you hold on to that? <laughs> Let me get that. Can you hold on to that? <laughs> Hello? Yes! He's right here. Hold on a second. It's for you, Mike. 
It's a dirty trick, me being at the joint and Carmen on the loose. <laughs> Look for her in South America. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, Mike. Looks like you and I are going to South America. Chief. Mike, here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Ecuador. Peru. Colombia. Chile. Venezuela. Bolivia. Argentina. Guyana. Brazil. Paraguay, Suriname, Uruguay, French Guiana. Red, take my camera. Okay, dude, listen up. This is what it's all about right here, man. Okay? What you have to do is track Carmen San Diego through seven different countries, identifying each country with a marker. When you're right, you'll hear this sound. But when you're wrong, you'll hear this sound. If you're wrong two times, don't worry about it. Just leave the marker where it is. If you're right, though, seven times within 45 seconds, you will then win that trip to wherever you wrote down in that portfolio. Sound okay to you, pal? Yeah. Sound good to you guys? Yeah! All right, buddy, let's go do this thing. Cheer them on, you guys. Here we go. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck, Mike. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. La Grita, Venezuela. Venezuela. You got it. Come on. Hello to Brazil. You got it, dude. Come on, come on. Time went to Santa Rosa, Ecuador. You got it, come on. Rio Gallagas, Argentina. Yeah, you got it, come on, right? Cotton is Suriname. No, try it again, try it again, Mike. Yeah, you got it, come on. Cotton of Peru. You got it. All right, oh, shoot, not enough time. You got six and 45 seconds. Give him a hand, you guys. Come on. Nice job, man. I tell you what. Sometimes Carmen is just a tough one to catch. That's all it is to it, okay? Chief, what do you think of that? Well, Mike, we're all proud of the good work you've done throughout the day. And we here at headquarters, we pitched in and we purchased a portable CD player that we thought you would enjoy. And a selection of CDs from around the world. CDs, okay? Yep. Okay, look, man, you've been doing a lot of hard work for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is. Do it, Rockapella! One, two, three, four. Back to back. Ha, 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 ha. Daddy, daddy. Yes, my friends. Back to back. Ha, 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 ha. Daddy, daddy, say, huh. It was a zombie jamboree. Took place in the New York Cemetery. It was a zombie jamboree. Took place in the New York Cemetery. Zombies from all parts of the island. Some of them were great Calypsonians Since the season was carnival Oh, they got together in Bacchanal They were singing back, back to back Belly to belly, well I don't give a damn Cause I'm stone dead already here Back to back, belly to belly A zombie jamboree One female zombie, she would behave See how she's dancing out of the grip In one hand she's holding a quart of rum The other hand is knocking a conga drum The other lead singer starts to make his rhyme While the other zombie is rocking in time One bystander he had this to say It was a trip to see the zombies break away Shut and they were singing to back to back Belly, belly to belly Well I don't give a damn Cause I'm stone dead already Back to back, 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 back to back
This program was bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. This program was brought to you by...